Hi and welcome back to your processing video tutorials. In this video we're going to take a look at how to get the X and Y position of the ball so that we can finally make it bounce up and down in our program window. So what we need is just like we had here get DX and get DY to get the differential in Y and X we're going to need two methods to access the X and Y variables. Just like so. And what we need to return are the x and y values for our ball. So this is going to give us 400 and 100 at the beginning. And then as we move the ball, it's going to return the different values that the ball is going through. Then going back to our main file, instead of y plus 25, we're going to need to do ball get y plus 25 and ball get y minus 25. So we're substituting what we previously had as our y value as the ball's y value. And also we're no longer going to need this because in the previous video we wrote this down that changes the ball's dy value depending on the ball's dy value at the time. So you can't see this, but now you can. And as you can see now, the ball is finally bouncing up and down because we've substituted all the values that we used to have as y and x by the ball's y and x values, and also dy and dx values. So in this video, we've added the getters for x and y, and we fixed the bouncing problem. In the next video, we're going to introduce the concept of a constructor and how we can use it to create different types of balls. So I'll see you in the next video.